sup and welcome again to my youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go ahead just take a minute a second actually click on that like button subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified anytime we post a new video now today we are talking about chat gpt okay now chat gpt is uh, was released i think a week ago okay and everybody's talking about it okay it, like it's very easy right now to search for whatever you want okay it's very easy actually okay by just typing some stuff down you get exactly what you're looking for okay now what we're gonna do today is that we will create um an api okay using spring boot okay but we will also see how easy it is to generate codes using uh chat gpt okay so what i did is i went straight to uh spring spring initializer i created a new project okay and then after creating a new project what i did is that uh, I, I created a new spring boot project then after that i imported it in, in, into my ide so as you can see this is the student application so if you click on src i managed to create some uh like some some classes we have student class we have um, student application okay then we also have student controller we have student repository and also student service so we will create a simple um api okay and uh i'm not gonna type anything actually i'm not gonna type anything i will i think i'm gonna get all the codes from uh chat gpt so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into uh, chat GPT. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is that I will type um, create. Okay. I have my notes down here. I just need to know what I'm supposed to be typing. So create a create a class. Okay. Student. Okay. E in spring boot for api okay the spring boot actually and say and um, persist okay and persist okay in the database just like that so we have uh, sorry so create a class student in Spring Boot and persist it in the database. So let's see what we got. So to create a class student in Spring Boot application and persist it in database, you need to perform the following, okay? Set up a database configuration to connect details in your Spring Boot. Uh -huh. Create a student called class, okay? Annotate it to the entity. Then create a repository interface jpa repository you know okay look at that look at that let me show you it just generate codes automatically i don't have to write any single line of code so we have entity we have class student so we have long id first name and last name okay then after that finally here is an example of the service class that uses a repository to save to student entity look at that look at that it has created a, a student service class, okay? Annotated, with, I mean, you annotated with auto wired, like connected it to student repository, okay? And also it gave you a method on how to save students. How awesome is that? So let's see if, um, so let's see if it's gonna create a, a student controller, student, okay? in spring boot okay then write post and get let's see what we're gonna get from that post and get okay so post mapping and get mapping so student controller uh, post and get you can add additional method to the controller class look at that breaks everything down for you everything that you need look look at that just look at that post mapping student okay creates a get mapping for you 
you know and that's it like how awesome is this tool i didn't have to write any line of code every line of code was generated for me what i have to do is just copy paste okay now let's start by copy pasting what is important and that's why i said it's very important actually to be able to know what you're doing okay so uh having a um idea okay or um, knowing exactly what you're doing will really uh, speed up your work okay so what i'm gonna do is that uh, i will copy this click on copy then uh, i'm gonna paste it on my student so i'm gonna delete this student class then control v there you go what i just need to do is just uh import my classes just like that just import my classes import my classes just like that just import import uh persist yeah import just like that i'm done okay i'm just done just like that i'm done so i'm gonna close this just like that then after that let's move on to student repository so i'm gonna delete this go back again to um my code i'll pick this here okay actually i'm gonna copy all then after that i'll go back again to my intelligence to my ide then copy paste look at that import okay so no need to write any additional code here the jpa interface provides all the necessary methods for crude operation for and it breaks everything down for you okay then after that let's go to the student service okay so what i need to do is just go back again to my um uh, chat box then after that student service i'm just gonna copy this just copy and paste then i'm gonna go back again here and then i'm just gonna delete that and uh, copy and paste uh just import the necessary classes just like that and i'm done then i'm gonna go to the student controller i'm gonna take this out and then what i'm gonna do is i'll go back again to my um chat box student controller i'm gonna pick this one that has the the get mapping and also the post mapping and i'm just gonna copy look just gonna copy that and paste it here then i'm gonna import classes just like that uh-huh uh dependency for post mapping import import sorry uh import get mapping uh, import path variable import and yeah you create this is we create a class in the student there we go just create a class here down here so what i have to do here is just return okay student repository dot find by id that's it so what i need to do here is just uh, create a method a way on how i'm gonna get student id uh in the repository that's it just like that then if i go back to student service i'm good to go see how easy that was I don't just have to sit down and write so many lines of code, try to think, you know, as long as I have a concept and I understand what is supposed to be needed, then the rest becomes so easy for me, okay? So I think this is just an awesome tool that software developers can just take advantage of, you know, instead of uh, sitting down for hours trying typing codes, just type something up, see what you're gonna get, then after that, edit it customize it to fit what you really want okay so that's it for today if you have um so that's it for today okay if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go ahead and subscribe to this channel more content are coming through peace